I got my first crow feather today. I'm not sure if it's the the, the uh, crow or the ravens. I would imagine the raven feather would be larger. The ravens were in the yard a few minutes ago. But this is my very first uh, crow feather. Um, and this is a dove feather. This is a dove. I believe that's a dove. It's got some white on it. But this is a crow feather. I've seen the crows out there for about an hour. And then they left when the ravens came. So this is my first crow feather today. Yay! Shalom. Okay, so I'm cleaning them in the sink with alcohol. Um, I pour, I usually just pour it directly on there. I squirt it on there, you know, like, let me see if I can pick it up. You know, just like, like this. Clean them with alcohol. Saturate them with alcohol. And uh, I'll let it sit for a minute. And um, I'll put a little soap and water on it and rinse them off and let them dry. And then I'll put them in a bag of, with the rest of the feathers. Um, I try to keep them separated. I have dove feathers in one bag. And I have um, J feathers and J down in one bag. And so this is going to have its own bag of, of crows or raven or blackbird feathers. And um, sometimes I put a little bit of uh, frankincense oil, drop a few drops of frankincense oil in the bag so that they maintain a fragrant scent. Uh, but uh, that's what I usually do uh, when I find feathers. Shalom. Okay, so these are the feathers that I collected just today alone. Uh, they're all washed and clean, and uh, this one's still wet. Uh, this one's still wet. Uh, this is a, a J feather here from the down, from the apron part of the J. That's the little white fluffy down. And um, not sure, I think this is a dove feather. Wing feather of a dove. I didn't see when when uh when she dropped it, but there were just doves all in the yard. Um, you can see it's got the brown that brown sable color from the uh the wing of a dove, because they have that that dark brown sable color as well as a white stripe. You can see there's a little bit of white. I think there's some white on there. Yeah, a little white on there. You can barely see it, but this is a dove wing feather. And this is the crow feather that I just got, my first crow feather. And so everything is going to go in its own little bag. Dove feathers and wing and tail going here. J feathers and down going this one. And I'll, I have to get a bag for the new crow feathers. And I think this is also part of a, a dove, maybe the wing part. But this is going into the J bag. This is going into the dove bag. This is gonna go into a crow bag. So, uh, and they got a little nice little scented uh, frankincense oil drops in there. But, um, that's, you know, my little feather collection. And, um, these are the blessings from t just taking care of nature. Um, they say that there's, um, a blessing when you get a feather. I don't know, uh, very much about, um, 
feather folklore. Uh, I'll have to look into it, but I have heard of um, stories about that, you know, when, you know, people talk about uh, the spiritual side, uh, especially from among the, the ten tribes and um, the native aborigine people believe in the power of feathers, animal feathers, animal fur, uh, different types of hide or fur from a specific type of animal. Um, I haven't done much study into that yet. Um, I think those Grimoire books have that information in it. Um, I don't have any Grimoire books, though. Um, but anyway, that's all I have to say for today. Shalom.